Hey folks, Brad Stash here. Hi everybody. Uh, we want to say uh, welcome to all of our new subscribers. Uh, we had a wonderful weekend yes, we did. at uh, Blue Ridge Flea Market we and did. we got to meet some very amazing people. We did. We really did. We had a good time there. We, yeah. uh, we were also vendors there. We sold a lot of stuff. We were teaching yeah. our young ones. We're, yeah, we're, we're passing on uh, a flea marketing bug to yes. our uh, daughter our and daughter, son-in-law. Son <laughs> and they busted their rumps and they did great. Yeah, they actually they learned very quickly, and they were, um, let's say, shocked. Yeah. At uh, even if it was a dollar, how yeah. many dollar things you sell, and then how much money you make at it, the it end. It adds up quick. Yeah. Yes. So they were really excited. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'm I'm happy to do that. Yes. Happy to pass that on to them. Exactly. Because uh, it is a really great, uh, you know, side job. It, it is. is, and you know, one day I want it to be my full time job. Yes. So. Um, but we wanted to say uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. We want to say welcome to uh, Kara. We met her at the flea market. She had a taco stack hat on. Yeah. And then I had to tell her, like, I met him. Yes. And then I actually took her over to it yeah. to, to meet him all, herself. All, all the 100 feet away from us. He was, he was sitting there. <laughs> I said, let me go introduce you we, to my friend. We can look over like this and go, oh, there he is. I go, oh, let me introduce you to my friend. Yeah. Like, I just met him like 10 minutes yeah. ago. Yeah. But. You know, uh, so that was kind of neat. Yeah, we met uh, Taco Stacks. If you haven't seen oh it, my gosh. check nice. out his page, on his, his channel. Yeah. The man's full of knowledge. He's laid back. He's easy going. He knows his stuff. And Very he works, nice. He works his butt off. Very nice. He gave us a really great shout out. He did. So he that did. was really awesome. And, and then we met, Ma like, I'm really, really, really in love with her, her channel. I am like, it is so brilliant. It is so smart. It's so refreshing. Her I name love is Renee as well. Her name is Renee too, so that's something and in her common. her channel is? It's Paper and Moose. Paper and Moose. And I love the name, it's cool. She, I just love, she does ephemera. Yes. And it's the it's almost the only other person I know that knows what the word ephemera means. And I was just so impressed by that. Yeah. Because when I say ephemera, people look at me like I have three eyeballs. Well, Paul knows it too. Yeah, Paul knows it, yeah. Hey right. Paul, if you're yeah. watching, what's up? <laughs> so, uh, well anyway, let's just get started. You yes. saw the video of us walking around. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't able to show every single thing because when you're at a flea market and you're trying to video at a flea market, people have side conversations at tables. And we picked them up. And some of the, yeah, they're come up on the camera and yeah. some of them are not good. They're not, they're not PG rated. But yeah, they're not PG <laughs> and um, like one thing we, us rat stash do is we do not do anything politics. We don't talk politics. We don't talk any of that stuff. So Negative things. We, when, we're trying, we try to be the change to be positive. Yeah, we're like really neutral. Yes. Like we're really neutral. So the only time we fight about anything is like I love the Philadelphia Eagles. Like I, I love everything Philadelphia. I love the Flyers. I love the 76ers. Flyers I love are the good. Phillies. Yeah. I love the Eagles. No. I love everything and then i love penn state so yes, penn state's good too. I'll, go I'll fight with you if you like go against me on any of those things yeah well, we're gonna go at it again so we we actually had a he's he's a, a raiders fan die hard raiders fan silver black all the way. so two, two years ago we had a big fight on christmas yeah because they played pow 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 guess who won me okay even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while <laughs> All right. So anyway, let's get going on to the stuff that we found. So uh, there's some things on the table that was not in the video because uh, we had to cut some stuff out. Yes. You know, um, but that's okay. I mean, that's a it was a little secret as to what we got. Yes. So uh, at the end of the video, at the end of the video, we had talked about the birdhouses. Young mel young man who's making birdhouses. Young man who's making birdhouses. So. Um, this is another one of the birdhouses, and this is the one that he put, he has a sticker on the bottom, he said, please follow me on Facebook. His name is David Wisser, W-I-S-S-E-R-S, -S -S, and it says, Custom Barn Built Woodworking. Isn't that really nice? So I thought I'd show that to you. Yeah. Uh, it's really nice. So I don't know if that David, is that is that the kid, or is that the father or grandfather? Well, I imagine I don't... it's probably the kid. I don't know. I actually should have maybe looked his page up, but I didn't. Um, but that's um, so that that that's, that's another one. Yeah. So we got four total, two trucks like this. Yes. You know, two trucks like this, and then I got a um, uh, an engine, a train, train like engine. a train engine, and then I got a tractor trailer. Trail. Yeah. 
So that so was really neat. There's room for the birds inside and it looks like the squirrel can sit in the back. Yeah, the squirrel so can sit in the back. So I might put like bird seed in here. Yeah. And then they could go in their little house. But I might put bird seed. Yeah. It's going back here somewhere over this yeah. way. We have a lot of finches. We're uh, we're in the backyard, by the way. Yeah, this is our backyard. Yeah. All right. So uh, next thing is, you want to talk about the one in the middle? Yeah, we'll talk about okay. this. Okay. We were just walking down one of the aisles and she goes... She points back, like, oh, look, look at that, the hot air balloon. So hot I air over, balloon. I don't know I, I picked it up. I looked at it. Well, it was, yeah, it was just, it just, I just saw, it just said state fair. Yeah. And a hot air balloon. So. And I can see it's cookie jar. Yeah, but I, I was like, why would they do a state fair? But, you know, there is people that collect state fair yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, these, like the World's Fair. Yeah. You know, like the World's Fair yes. stuff, we, we, uh, we sell a lot of that mm -hmm. stuff. So I thought maybe it was it. And then um, he picked it up. And here, it's the Wizard of Oz characters. Yes. So isn't that, I mean, there is chipping. So, like, if you can see a little bit, there is chipping mm -hmm. on it. There's some chipping on uh, Scarecrow's hat. Uh, so there is some chipping. But this is not for resale. No. This, we, uh, well, Todd, actually. Todd has a little collection. A little of, collection of Wizard of Oz stuff. Uh, it's one of those movies I first saw as a kid and just, I love it. It's, it's a great movie. It's a great story. And it stands timeless. the test it's, of time. It's timeless. Yes. yes, it's timeless. So it's going down in the nerd cave with the uh, Wizard of Oz stuff that I've got. Yeah. So it's going to be. That's that's going to be. I might. I don't. I might like actually like maybe tip this a little bit and maybe have a planter plant or something coming out of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But it is like it's it's not resale be worthy because it is chippy. Sweetheart, it's a cookie jar. You know, it goes in cookie jars. We're not putting cookies in it. Cookies go in cookie jar. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Not in the basement. Nerd cave. Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll we'll see who wins that that uh, thing. We'll see who wins. Um okay, so the next item that hey, you know what you didn't bring out? The yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh so okay, so the next thing that we got um is this. This uh was on someone's table and it's a cute little apocryphy. Apothecary. Oh my gosh. Am I having a brain fart? Apothecary. Apothecary. There you go. Apothecary. There you go. You got it. Got it. Huh? You got it. Oh, you would think I could say things. Okay. Apothecary um, container. Isn't that cute? Like, I was thinking we could put that um, at the store. Someone could put, like, um, maybe cotton balls or something in it. It's kind of cute. It's but cute. it is a blue delf from Holland. Cool. It is, it's really nice. Uh, nice. It, there's no chipping, there's no scratches, there's no nothing on it. It's really great. Mm -hmm. And they tape the top down, which I love when people do that, tape yes. the top down, because then it doesn't bang around when you're transporting yep. it yep. or crack or chip. Yep. So um, shout out to the vendor who did that. Great job. But it is a blue delf made in Holland. All right. So I was excited for that find. Now there's two of these. Two of these. So these actually came from uh, Fancy's Indoor Flea Market, which was the same day, because we went to and walked around the flea market at Sailorsburg, uh, Blue Ridge, and then we went to our home base, which is Fancy's Indoor Flea Market. Bally, Pennsylvania. In Bally, Pennsylvania, yep. And uh, so we checked on our booth and the stuff that we had down mm -hmm. there, and I saw these two. See how they have like a bluish green tint to them? Yeah. I love cool. these kind. And it has the porcelain tops, which I always look for the porcelain tops. Very nice. No chipping, no nothing. Nope. They actually have some bubbles in them. Yeah. You know, so you can see that they are hand blown. Yep. Um, and they have the rib, the rigid on the bottom. Yep. So you can see that they were hand blown. Yep. Um, I got them both. These are not for resale. We paid, what, $5 a piece on I these? I think so. Um, these are actually, I'm going to fill them with marbles for my dad for Father's Day. Yeah, we heard, we heard his lost lost his marbles, so we're going to put them in the jar. <laughs> my dad lost his marbles. But uh, my dad collects marbles. Yes. So we got a bunch of marbles, mm -hmm. and I'm going to clean them up, and I'm going to put them in these jars for yep. him, yep. which is going to be a nice uh, Father's Day gift. Don't and, tell him. Well, he doesn't, my dad still has a flip phone. Don't tell him anyway. So he's not going to watch YouTube, you know, sadly. Well, somebody might see him and tell him. All right. Well, don't tell him. If you know Elmer, don't tell him. All right. So next item is my favorite. Ronald McDonald. 
McDonald's. If you are friends with me on Facebook, and if you're not, please be friends with me on, uh, us on Facebook, Rat Stash, you'll see my whole collection of Ronald McDonald stuff. Yes. So one of the vendors down there, Nicole, I walked in and I didn't even say hi to her. I made a beeline for this. And then I found out it was hers and she was selling it. And I said, that's the rule. You broke the rule. <laughs> you're supposed to, if you have, if you have Ronald McDonald stuff or McDonald's stuff, you're supposed to show it to me first so I can buy it first. She didn't get the memo. But thank God I got it. Yes. So, no, uh, it's, you know, it's so nice. But no, no thermos, sadly. But it's still in great shape for considering how old it is. Yeah. So, isn't that really cool? That is cool. I love it. You, know, never, you never see the characters on TV anymore. No, you don't either. see the characters. You know, I just, I think they should bring back the characters. But, you know what, um... McDonald's was a thing for me at, when I was a kid. It mm -hmm. was always a special treat yeah. to go to McDonald's. Yep. Like on a Saturday, mm -hmm. if you were good all week, yeah. you know, did your chores and stuff. Me and my, my mom would take me and my brother to McDonald's. And it was one of my favorite things. Cool. I remember uh, almost the same thing, which is me, dad, my dad would go to, we go to Burger King though. Oh, you never had a car King. the cartoonish king. Oh, little, yes. Little, little, little short guy with the, yes. with the cape. And then he brought the creepy king out with the yeah. big head. Yeah, it was really kind creepy. Yeah, he creepy. He's kind of creepy. But the food's still good, though. Do they still have the, the paper crowns? I think so. I don't know. Uh, we don't go inside. We go to drive through. I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow. All right. Uh, next. This. This and this. This and this. So we bought some stuff from Taco. Hey. I'm so excited. Yeah, he's got good stuff. I was excited. Yes. We got this, this this elder gentleman here. Just um. Is there any marking on the bottom? Uh, it's really dirty. Yeah. No. But it's, it's a little, little, you know. I think it's just like home co. I think it's a vagabond home kind of gentleman here. But he looks cool. He's in great shape. So, I can't believe like so. Most likely he got it in a trash. Yeah. And there's no chips or cracks or anything on it. So. Uh. Brumps. Brum. Brum. Bruma. Bruna. Uh, Bruno. 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 He got a name. It's Bruno. Bruno. I don't know. It says Bruno on it. Yeah. But I was just so surprised if he got it from the trash. Like there's a lot of dainty little parts on, uh, you know, his nose, his fingers, mm -hmm. and nothing was broken. Nope. And he, wait, we paid a dollar for this. Yeah. We paid a dollar. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's really cool. This so I got that from Taco. <gasps> this is what else we got from Taco. And this is so nice. And what's really nice about it is all the pieces are here. Yes. You can see it. All the pieces are here. And even like the stopper, the you know, the stopper's there. Everything's there. The lid for the little um, salt uh, sugar, bowl. sugar bowl. And it's hand painted. It says in the bottom, uh, hand painted Japan. So hand painted Japan is probably like the 50s. Probably. You know, that's what I'm thinking. It it's looks probably great the 50s. So it's uh, like a little condiment um, set, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar, yeah. we'll, um, or creamer, and sugar. Yeah, we'll clean it up and we'll be done for it. Yeah, I mean, that was just yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, nice. That was really so nice. So I was like excited for that. So then we're going to clean that really gently because yeah. it's hand painted. Yeah. And we'll put that down at the store. But And I think I might put a little tag there like I bought this from Taco. Yeah. I don't know. So exciting. Yes. I'm ex I don't know. I get excited for things like that now this was neat this i don't know what kind of wood this is so we have to figure out what kind of wood that is it could be mahogany could i be... don't know but it's an elephant but it's elephants isn't that neat and it is a candle um altar. yeah a candle, like an almost like an altar kind of thing it yeah. would probably go for a meditation altar room yeah you know That's I good think. idea that's what I would use it for, yeah. for meditation, altar. Mm -hmm. So I got to clean it up. Um, and sadly, it was so, so hot on Saturday that one of the roses kind of like wilted in the middle. But I can definitely go and get another rose yep. candle. That's not a problem at all. Yeah. So that is, I think that is really a neat piece. It is. I really like that piece. So we got that at the flea market. Okay. Uh, this, you want to talk about this one? This needs, this, a, this, this needs a little work. This needs a little work here. It needs a little tightening down. This is a um, Jesus on the cross with some ornamentation to it. Um, a lot of strange things on here, actually, though. If you look at it, there's a pirate skull down here. It's cross swords. There's a chicken. Yeah, I don't know exactly 
So anybody knows what this really is? I don't this know about? exactly all about it. You but... have. Uh, uh, yeah, so we have the sphere, we have the la we have a ladder. ladder. Um, I think this is brass. Could be brass. But it is just, it is it needs like another screw in the bottom. Yep, yep. And but yeah, it's kind of I don't know. It's like different. So if, if anybody knows what this has an idea about this, tell us, let us know. I don't know what, exactly what religion like what yeah. part of Christianity religion this right, is. Right. You know, it's it is. I don't I don't exactly know, but it's um, very cool looking and it's in really good shape. We just got to do. We do cooking. sell a lot of religious items down in our store. We do. We do. And so if anybody knows what this is, I mean, it has like, you know, re religious, it has the um, IN, uh, it has the IN marking on the front, but mm -hmm. it, it does, like you said, it does have kind of little weird, I shouldn't say weird, it's not a good word, but. Ornamentation. Too. Yeah, different, different things on there that I've just never really. Yes seen before right now once you get that the thing that we got us from taco oh yes so i got this from taco a galvanized short dish so cool. i got this at the end of the video uh watch at the end of the video because i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with this so i'm going to have it done by the end of the video but yes, isn't this, yes okay. i am isn't this i mean i'm not going to do it on the video i know but I'm gonna like do it and then I'll cut, kind of splice okay. it in. But okay. this I got from Taco, and I'm keeping this because I think it's just really cool, cool. dish. And I have some things that would go really look really nice in it. Like, yes, I'll give you a little teaser. It's little succulent plants. That's not a teaser. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but wait till you see it. Okay. I mean, you know, wait till you see it. Okay. All right. Next. Now, we don't always buy, like, old, old stuff. Old stuff. No. You know, like, we don't always buy old stuff. But how about this? This was a fantastic buy. So we do um, Comic-Cons yeah, also. We do. we do. So we have, like, uh, pretty much the, a lot of the antique vintage things is my side of the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, Comic-Cons and comic books and stuff like that is your side of Toys. the business. Yep. So, because you're teaching me that, I'm teaching you mm -hmm. my stuff. So we saw this at the flea market. How neat is that? So it is a, um, it is the, the Batman Lego. Yeah. And it's the, the lunchbox and the movie is inside. Yep. So we opened it up and the Blu-ray, Blu-ray movie was inside. Yep. We got this for a dollar. Yeah. A dollar. Cool. At the flea market. Yep. So this is going to be a really neat find for Comic Con. Yes, it will. Because I don't know when this came out. Don't know. I don't know. But it's cool. It says it's a Walmart exclusive, but I just think it was neat. So that's definitely going. Yep. To the. Yes, it is. Comic Con. If we ever have one, it ours got kind of canceled. So yeah. kind of sad about that. Here, yeah. can you put that on the side there? I can. All right. So. Uh, what else you got? My extreme excitement was when we came around that corner. Oh, yeah. And that guy had all those purses. So look at the purses I got. This one is so nice, and it has the wallet with it. Mm -hmm. So this is so, this is super cute. You'll, you'll see these down at the uh, Rat Stash number three. Booth. It looks like it was, an, it was like a gift from Estee Lauder. Mm -hmm. It says Estee Lauder on it. But it is a, isn't that a cute little clutch bag? Yeah. Like if you just want to, if you're just running like, a, you know, out just quick. Yeah. Like just to throw a couple things in, go yeah. out, you yeah. know, going for lunch or something with your girlfriends, you can throw like this out and just have a little, little wallet or this could be your little makeup bag. You know, whatever. It's, I think it's cute. Cute. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I kind of cut you off. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I said sorry. you will find these down at our store. It'll be in uh, Rat Stash number three in the Rat Stash Fashion Triangle booth. Yeah, Fashion Triangle. If you ever come down to our store, you'll understand what I'm meaning, but our booth is not exactly square. No, it's, triangle. It's, it's, it's a triangle. triangle. Yeah. So this one was really nice, and it's so soft and supple. It's a Maggie Lawrence. And this was this one was super nice. I just like the patchwork on mm -hmm. it. So that was a super nice purse. Got that one. This one here was a nice, just plain black bag. And 
Tangelo? T and T. Tignan. I don't know. I don't know the name. Oh. I don't know the name of that. Nice but bag. it's nice. And it's very soft leather. Yeah. Nice bag. He has a lot of nice bags there. I mean, I, he was teasing me that he was, he wanted me to buy them all. I almost did. I almost did. There was a really nice rattan one there. Yeah. Like a wickery rattan yeah. one, but it had a big scratch on it. Big but it was so it. nice. Yeah. This is an Anya bag. And it might, it actually, it is actually a, a, a real Anya bag. So that has the real Anya bag. So that's a nice one. That was a nice find. This one, I love. Anytime I, like, for me personally, when I buy bags, I buy. Vera Bradley, because I just love the funky colors and patterns. I'm really into, you know, brightness, funky colors, patterns, and stuff. But I, for durability, I really like Stone Mountain purses. And this is a Stone Mountain purse. I really, really like. They are very well made. I'll put them down on the floor. Sorry. Sorry. And the last one, this one, is so, I mean, obviously this one is not good. I looked immediately. This is not, uh, I don't believe this one is real, but I'm going to have one of my girlfriends really check it Which to make is? sure, but it's a Gucci. It's a Gucci. But I'm going to have, I, I don't believe it's real, but I'm going to have one of my girlfriends really check it. And she will, uh, she's, she's pretty good with the person, so she'll tell me if it's good or not or what. So we have that. And the last thing that I bought at his booth, guy was so nice, this leather, can you see it? Here we go. A leather hat box. It's very cool. Now, we have hat boxes down at the Fashion Triangle. Paper, you know, like Dark, cardboard, cardboard right you know, paper. This is leather. So I, I, I just, this is just beautiful. I don't know. Vintage, definitely vintage. Oh my, yes. Ah! There's a head in here. What is this? It's called Fashion Trees Incorporated from New York City. So this is this mannequin is on a, a form. The, 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 the mannequin head is on a cir on the circle, and it stays inside here. So when you put your hat on, it doesn't get crushed at all. So this must be like if this is from Fashion Trees in New York, this must be for like huge hats. Top hat. No, well, it could be, yeah, it could be for a top hat. It could be a gentleman's. Just don't forget that it's in there and it'll scare the you-know-what out of you when you open it up and but see But I'm telling there, you, like, this is so, you. it could be for a top hat. This is so nice. I mean, you know, back in the day, you know, 50, 40s, 50s, it was, it was, what do I say? It was such a treat to go places and buy things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember going to, like, Hess's in Allentown. Yes. Yeah. And you would dress up to go, yes. you know? And then I remember they used to wrap your clothes. Mm -hmm. They used to fold it, and they would wrap your clothes in, like, tissue paper. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. I rem I was like, I used to love that. So look at the, the care. Now, today, it, today's day and age, you go to the store, you want a hat, they're thrown in a bin, and you just pull a hat. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just they don't thrown. have fancy hats anymore. They don't. They just don't Lips take. like this, you know? They don't take care with things. Mm -hmm. So... I just think that this is awesome. It probably could be, considering that, it probably was, you know, uh, a, a nice top hat, or it could have been a beautiful lady's hat, you know? Yeah. But I just think that that is so nice. It has very, like, very good. In great shape. Yeah, a little, like, bit, a little bit clean yeah, I need to there. clean it. It's dusty. I need to clean it, and I'll get my leather cleaner, and I'll clean it. But yeah. besides that, I think that... I was so excited when I got this. I've, you taught, I think you heard my voice because it got really high. All of a sudden, I was like, how much is that? No. <laughs> I, I really should not play poker because no. I can't. No. I have no poker face. No, you don't. No. And I just laugh and I smile all the time, so people probably think I'm wacky. Now, we've got one more thing to show you. Okay. Yep. And this is the one. This is. This is the, I would consider the really cool find here. Yes. Okay. Give me one second here. I just gotta grab this. I'm just amazed that this was in the garbage, the taco guy, that there is not a single chip on this. I am so amazed by this. I love that piece. 
Okay, we'll go prepare it on this. Yeah, well, we need to but clean it and stuff too. This. They can't see it. You're a hang on, I'm looking, oh. I'll read the bottom of it here. Hold it up when you're done reading it. Hold it up to show them. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. This is hand built in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. The Mayflower replica, and it's from 1928. 1928. Yeah. We saw this on the table, and we thought for sure we were not going to be able to buy it because right. we thought the price was going to be yes. like so high that we would not be able to buy it, mm -hmm. and we would not be able to pass it on to somebody else right. and still give them a deal because that's what we like to do. Give deals. We like to give deal. We always like to leave. Like my grandfather always used to say, "Leave some meat on the bone." Yep. Yep. You know, my yeah. grandfather always used to say that. So this, um, this is 92 years old. Okay. 92 years old. It is leather. Leather and wood. Leather and wood. It's in rough shape. Now, you want to push this a little further so they can really see. Yes. I mean, real. Don't push it off the table. Oop. I see it. Let's see. Look how, look. I mean. Number of lines on this thing. The details. Now, that, like I said, this is damaged a little bit, but we can fix that. We can fix that. A little, I mean, like, we're going to get some needle and thread out to fix that because that's all what happened is I. This is all like thread and it's dry rotting. Yeah. So I, I'm going to get some needle and thread and fix that. Um, I have some other little things to fix up, but it, even if you can turn it kind of that way a little bit, I uh, tip it because there's a boat on top and it's look lifeboat. how detail. It's a lifeboat. A lifeboat Wait. on top. Wait, let me, on, sorry. Let's see. Yeah, I'm holding it. Lifeboat on top and it has if you can see, there you go, Todd. I got it. You got it? I got it. You got it? Okay. If you can see, it has like a little roll-up tarp on it. Mm -hmm. It's just fantastic. There, I just, there's replicas of cannon on here. There's replicas of coil on When he told us the price of it, and I was like shocked, and then I almost felt bad for making even a deal on it, but you know. But we got it. We always like to make deals. Somebody's going to get a chance to have this. And um, flip it over so they can see the writing on the bottom, but that was so... Cool. Okay, let's see if I can get this over. It's not easy to remember. I know. Don't drop it. Okay. Right, down, isn't it? Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Of course, it's upside down. I really can't see this from here. All right. Is it upside down? No. Built by George Scath. His to Pennsylvania, 1928. Pull it closer to the thing so they can see. It's kind of dark to see on here. I know, but maybe it'll. Okay. Is so there you go. Mayflower, owned by Thomas London. Uh, sail from England, uh, August 19, 1620. Arrived December 11th, 1620. Displacement of 180 tons. Wow. So, Stoneman did a great job at building this. I mean, can you imagine, like, the models and the kits that we put together yeah. nowadays? Yeah. Look what this was done. And it's got some weight 90, to it. Obviously, it's not 180 tons I'm holding 90, around. Like 92 that. years. Yes. You know, that's... We, wow. We'll do what we can to, to help it along, but... I don't want to do too much to no, it no, either no. because I'm afraid of it. So, I'm afraid. I'm not touching it. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. And, and it's, I, it's, wow. It's, wow. Yeah. I don't even know what else to say, wow. Yeah. Old, it's old. It's very old. Yeah. Very, very old. Anything else we're talking about? Um, no, I think that's it. Yeah. Let's give our shout outs then. We got a shout out to, uh. Uh, yeah. We have well, tons of shout outs. Tons of shout outs. So, again, we can't thank Taco enough. Taco yes. Sacks enough. Um, he met us and, uh, gave us some fantastic tips advice advice you know and encouragement you know yes. what the best part about all of it was was the encouragement and he validated us yes which was nice like he's like hey you guys do really nice you know what i mean yeah. stuff yeah. you know yeah. uh keep it going you yeah. know keep going with it and i just thought that was so nice um mm -hmm. renee from paper and moose, moose yes. was there um she sat up set up next to him and um, I like took a double take, and I'm like, oh my god! Like there's two, like right next to each other. Wonderful young lady. You know, uh, oh, it, brilliant, brilliant, smart, brilliant. 
refreshing love her page yes. and she gave us some tips she did which i thought was really really great mm -hmm. um took them all i mean i was like my mind was I, my mind was racing yep. it was racing and then um walked around yep. and then um blue bus dave yep. came to our I, I just got off cloud nine mm -hmm. and then i was sitting back there and our kids were talking to blue bus dave and i'm sitting back there in the chair going oh my god that's Oh my god! I don't know him. I met you. Was I there? Probably not. I think you were uh, at Casey's getting something to eat, uh, maybe. But I was like, uh, I was like, yeah. Oh, that's oh wow. Yes. You know, so it was really neat. Um, and now we have oh, a ton of new subscribers, which is great. So welcome all the new subscribers. Yeah, welcome. Hey, um, friends. A lot of our friends have, uh, you know, given us tons of encouragement over mm -hmm. the years. Yeah. Uh, you know, Shane and Val from Bayside Comics. Shout out to Bayside Comics. If you Comics. guys like comic books, and if you buy comic books or action figures or anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, please look them up on Facebook. Bayside Comics. Yes. B-A-Y-S-I-D-E. Yes. Bayside Comics and Collectibles. They are on every Saturday? No, sorry. No, Sunday. Sunday and Wednesday. Wednesday which is tonight. 7 o'clock. Yep. Till whenever they're done. Whenever they're done. Yep. And then every once in a while they do pop-ups. They do. You they know? do. You and they do fantastic, fantastic comics. They and they're do. funny and they tell jokes. Oh, and yeah. It's... And they're both very knowledgeable and yeah. everything. Yep. So I wanted to say thank you to... You know, everybody's giving us encouragement. A lot of our friends, our family, yep. um, that has given us encouragement mm -hmm. to keep doing this. So hopefully you guys like our video. Yep. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, tell their friends. Yeah. Uh, so that's about us. Uh, Rats, for the new people, uh, Rats Stash is our name of our company. How we came up with it is, my name's Renee. I'm Todd. And his name is Todd. And we did a logo that thought we were going to do R and T finds or R and T treasures. Yep. And we sat at a diner, Whitehall Diner. Yep. And this young man was our waiter, yep. and he came over and goes, "Huh, that's funny. Your initials are Rat." And we both looked at each other, kind of like this, yeah. and we're like, "Rats." Yeah. So that's what we are. We're the rats. And what does top. rats do? They stash the little stash. treasures away. Yep. So we make the treasures available for you now. Yeah. So we share. That's how we got rat stash. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we're currently known as just the rats. Yeah. People can call us the rats. We don't mind. Yeah, we don't mind. We actually answer to it. Yes, now. we do. So, well, uh, again, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for everything and. Uh, just want to let you know, we'll probably have another video. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow because there's a lot of stuff to go through, but it might be um, Friday. We might have a video. Uh, we just hit a nice haul of Mack truck items. Yes. So um, someone who works at Mack trucks uh, or worked at Mack trucks uh, was getting rid of a lot of their collectibles that they had, you mm -hmm. know, over the years. A lot of these pieces, if you are not an employee, you don't have them. Yep. So, uh, Mack Trucks is here in the Lehigh Valley mm -hmm. where we live in um, Pennsylvania. So, there is a ton of Mack Truck uh, memorabilia and stuff. So, that's going to be a whole nother video. And uh, we have one more coming up too. What? We have an unboxing. Three oh, unboxing. and we have, yes. Bayside. We, yes, Bayside Comics. We have an unboxing. Um, we, I think we have two boxes for them. We got three. Oh, we have three now? Three boxes. Yeah. We have three boxes. We got a little busy with the COVID-19. Our store was closed for 12 weeks. We were not able to open or anything like that. So but. the boxes came mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden we got to open. Well, we so, also were doing three shows a week from there. Well, we were doing live shows, but I'm saying yeah. uh, the boxes came really at the same time. Yeah. The boxes came at the same time we were opening, so we had to make sure that was yep. all done and, yep. and set up be, yep. you know, for people. Um, to come, so we hadn't opened the boxes. So I'm actually, I actually almost forgot what I bought. Oh, I know it's in some of them. Yeah. I almost forgot what I yeah, bought. Yeah, but you're going to find out too. So, you? yeah, right. Well, I'm going to let, uh, I guess I'm going to let everybody go. Uh, Thanks for watching. And then in like 2.3 seconds, I'm going to make this little project, and then you're going to come back and, and I'm going to show it on the other end of this video. You do that. This is what I'm going to do with this. You do that. Yes. Okay. I'm keeping this. Okay. This means something because yeah. taco. I bought it. <laughs>
All right. Well, thank you, and you guys have a nice night. Have a nice night, everybody. Be safe. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, I told you I'd be right back. So, uh, really quick, two seconds. I went and turned around and put made this into my little succulent dish. So I have a whole bunch of hens and chicks, little, little babies, and now I have them in this dish so they can go and expand and grow. I love hens and chicks. I've loved them since I was a little kid. They remind me of my grandmother. So uh, anyway, just want to let you know, I made this out of the dish I got and this is going to now sit in my little garden. So thank you very much. What did I buy this for, a buck? Yeah. A dollar. Yeah. Thanks, Taco. Thank you. Thanks, Taco. <laughs> so there are my little hens and chicks. All right. Well, like I said before, uh, you guys have a nice night. Be safe. Always, uh, you know, you go to flea markets, you find things, always make something for yourself. You know, this is something that I couldn't go to a, you know, a lawn and, and garden care center and buy something. It's nice as I just made it myself and now it means a little something more. So, all right, well, you guys have a great night and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow with our Mack truck video. Okay, good night, everybody.